I remember when I was uh, in my early 20s and I was so keen to be successful as an entrepreneur. Um, but there were many things that I had learned at school which I was still taking with me. Uh, there were things like, for example, the fact that you shouldn't really have to rely on other people. In fact, if you're at school and you're relying on other people, you're actually cheating. You've got to do it on your own. So I was trying to do everything myself. Um, there's elements like when it comes down to actually going out there and having others work with you uh, uh, to give you the information that you need, not the right thing to do, or that other people are not special. You need to be special. You better be higher in grades than they are. And it becomes a competition on that basis. When you actually become an entrepreneur and you're thinking like that, you cannot be successful. And one thing that started to shift in my mindset was realizing that the role of an entrepreneur is not to go out there to create success. The role of an entrepreneur is to actually create the environment for success to happen. You know, in, in a lot of the, uh, the stories that we tell and the great entrepreneurs that we know who are out there, and people like Steve Jobs, he didn't start Apple knowing he was going to do iPod or iTunes. Uh, Bill Gates didn't start Microsoft knowing he was going to be involved in the internet. The internet didn't exist. But every one of the entrepreneurs that, that you can think of, they all get involved in new things that there's no way they could have known they were going to get involved in, but they got involved in it by being open and creating the environment and creating the network and creating the opportunities that allow things to happen. Whoa.